In a summer where it seems the wildfires have never stopped, the heat is making them even worse. Nearly 60 large fires are burning in the West tonight. We start with Carter Evans in Los Angeles. Central Washington has been ravaged by wildfires all summer, and now a sudden wind shift has made things worse, as flames that had burned for several days suddenly pushed into the town of Chelan. Matthew Anderson's shed burned, but his home survived. This whole ridge was on fire. This, that whole hillside there, this whole hillside was on fire last night. It, it was nuts. This is how the fire looked from Lake Chelan, a popular recreational spot. So far, at least 100 structures have burned. Hundreds more are threatened. In Oregon, crews are battling several out-of-control wildfires. One of them burned more than 86 square miles near the Warm Springs Indian Reservation. Sally Polk Adams is one of hundreds of evacuees. By the time we got in the car, the fire was in our backyard, and we barely made it out. So far this year, wildfires have burned more than six and a half million acres. That's more than two and a half times what burned during the same period last year. And there's little relief with the relentless drought and exceptional heat, especially in Southern California, where a fire continues to rage outside Los Angeles. It's already destroyed several cabins and injured 10 firefighters, some of them from heat exhaustion and dehydration. This as temperatures continue to sizzle out west. It was 115 degrees in Phoenix on Saturday, 117 in Yuma, and 118 in Palm Springs, all daily records. But a break in the heat could come as early as tomorrow. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.